Uganda and the United Arab Emirates are committed to addressing trade and the labor export challenge, says Zake Chibedi, the Ugandan High Commissioner to the United Arab Emirates. Ambassador Kibedi is optimistic that the trade and business convention slated for October this year will amicably resolve some of the pertinent bilateral issues. As the unemployment crisis bites hard, many youthful Ugandans have resorted to seeking for employment across the globe and the United Arab Emirates, popularly referred to as Dubai, has been the favorite in the recent years. The desert city popular for business and tourism has offered jobs to thousands of youth from Uganda. However, concerns continue to be raised about the working environment. It is uh, two sides of the coin that uh, there is a big percentage of Ugandans that are there that have been successful in their jobs. Those are the highly skilled, the semi-skilled. But uh, we also have challenges with the domestic workers because they are working in uh, families of individuals. Just like you may take an example in our own home, when you find a good family, it is good. When you find a hard family, it becomes hard for you. According to Ambassador Zake Chibedi, Uganda's High Commissioner to the UAE, there are increased efforts between Uganda and the UAE geared at addressing labor export challenges. Last month, we just signed a memorandum of uh, understanding on labor cooperation. The challenge is how can we first implement this MOU? Because if we can uh, for, uh, be able to implement this MOU, it has very good provisions in there uh, that will favor or that will improve on the condition. Uh, like, for example, we are supposed in three months' time to uh, establish a joint committee, monitoring committee, comprised of officials from both governments, Uganda and UAE, to ensure that uh, the working environment of all Ugandan nations is safe and uh, secure and uh, gainful to all those that are working there. In mid-October this year, Uganda's High Commission in the UAE will host a trade and business convention. Invited are stakeholders from various sectors of Uganda's and UAE economy. Uganda exports to United Arab Emirates was 562.4 million US dollars during 2018, according to the United Nations Comtrade database on international trade. You find that uh, we are not doing well when it comes to balance of trade. We are importing so much from UAE compared to what we can export there. And yet, if we cover the gaps, the potentials are very huge. And that's the reason we are organizing this convention. The objectives are three. Why we're organizing the convention? One is to give information about the business and trade opportunities in Uganda to the business community in the UAE, and also matchmaking businesses, because we want to realize uh, tangible results from that convention. Then the third objective is we are going to use it as a feedback channel to get uh, information from uh, UAE companies that are already doing business in Uganda. The UAE convention comes on the heels of government's crackdown on labor export companies accused of conning Ugandans seeking employment opportunities abroad. Dennis Ikoa for UBC Business.